Okay guys, um, today we will be discussing the sixth experiment. This is the, the determination of iron by reaction with permanganate. This is the unknown that they are going to take. Um, they are going to have two trials. They are using roughly 0.5 grams, half gram for each trial. Anything between 0.48 and 0.52 is going to be perfectly fine. They do not have to add and remove grains each time and take forever to, to weight the sample. Before they do that, and before actually I go any further, I would like to remind you that the amounts that we have in the handout are cut by half. Let me start with the preparation of the sulfuric acid. It says 25 milliliters of sulfuric acid, but we are not going to do 25 milliliters of sulfuric acid. We are going to cut it in half. So its students are going to use 12.5 milliliters of 6M sulfuric acid. They are going to find it under the hood. And then 62.5 milliliters of water. Let me put the water first. Um, and that's how you need to instruct the students. First, they put the water in the flask and then the sulfuric acid in order to diffuse. So we have, I'm trying to go a little fast, so I'm not wasting your time. 15. And then 12.5. Perfect, here we are. Um, I said earlier that we are going to do two trials. I'm sorry, we are going to do three trials, so they are going to need roughly 1.5 grams from here. So, I take the water, 62.5 grams, and I'm going to come to the hood to take the sulfuric acid. Students need to be very careful with the sulfuric acid because they may burn themselves. So, here, it is adjusted at 12.5, they don't have to do anything. Remind them that they cannot rotate this one here, they should leave it as it is, and before they put any sulfuric acid into the flask, they need to make sure that here it says 12.5. If it doesn't, it's their responsibility to let you know that it needs to be adjusted. Students should not be adjusting this. If you have to adjust it, you're rotating this one here. Can you see? 12.7, 12.8 was at 12.5 here. Students are expected to put the flask underneath. They are going to pull it up all the way and then they need to push it down and wait until the last drop is going to go into the flask. Here it is. If they make any spill, they are supposed to let you know and help them clean it by themselves. Basically what they are going to do, they are going to take carbonate, sodium bicarbonate from and add enough sodium bicarbonate in order to neutralize the acid that we have in the bucket. After that, they are going to rinse it with a lot of water. So, make sure that you shrill it very well. In here we have 62.5 plus 12.5, that makes it 75 milliliters of sulfuric acid. The concentration is one molar, so they are going to use 25 milliliters from each trial. I have three flasks here. Let me put that one back and I will explain to you why I have that. I'm going to put 25 in each. Flasks should be rinsed, they don't have to be dry. Rinse with the eye water. Twenty-five. And the rest has to be twenty-five, so I'm not going to measure it. Here we go. In its flask I'm going to wait and I'm going to put half gram of this one here. I am not going to wait it at this point. I'm going to put some sample in, in my flask. The students have to wait it. I'm not going to continue with the other flasks. I'm going to put it aside. Shrill it to make sure that it's going to dissolve. Perfect. These are going to be used. 
this later. This one has just the eye water. So I'm going to take my waste bath bucket and I'm going to put it underneath here. Today we are going to use permanganate in order, let me take it a little lower, permanganate in order to fill our bread. So I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to push some. I'm going to make sure that it goes everywhere. Basically, I'm raising the bullet. And I'm going to open it here in order to come out. For my luck, this is clogged. Well, we need to change the bullet. I'm going to do that now that it's filled with clogged. Since that happened to us, let me show you. The used grades are going here at the back. The students need to turn it upside down, have this one here open, and leave it. Slowly. Here it is. Let me take a new bread from here. First of all, I'm going to make sure that it's not clogged. This is not clogged. I'm going to close it here and get rid of the water. Perfect. I'm going to put it here. Put back my gloves. The permanganate is not really very dangerous. However, if it goes on their hands, if it goes on our hands, it's going to stain them for a really very long time. After a couple of days, we are going to have a redox reaction and it's going to turn uh, brown and that's how it's going to stay for a week or so. So for those students who have active social life, they not want to have brown stains on their hands. I'm going to put some in order to rinse my bread. Fine. I'm going to let it come out. Going to close it. Can you see today it's much easier to see the bubbles that I was referring to last time? And now I'm going to fill it. I'm going to go above zero and adjust as needed. Perfect. Make sure that it doesn't go on your clothes. If it goes on your clothes, it will never come out. So we have this gap here. So I'm going to open it in order to fill my tip. Perfect. And now I'm going to look at the top. At this point, my zero is here. You cannot really see. My zero is here. So I'm going to come lower. This is a color solution. Not, uh, so now we are not looking at the bottom of the meniscus, but we are looking at the top of the meniscus. So I'm going to go here. Make sure that we're getting the drop that we have at the end of the tip. And now I'm going to take the solution with the sulfuric acid and with the sample, with the iron sample, and I'm going to put it underneath here. There is another one reagent that we need to add, 1.5 milliliters of phosphoric acid, 85% phosphoric acid. The manual says, or the handout, I don't remember, it says that we have to add it when the solution is going to turn yellow. Do not expect that it's going to be like an orange yellow, a deep uh, yellow. It's going to be a very, very light one. Basically, the way I describe it to the students, I say that it's going to be a color like white wine. So, what I'm doing, next to my solution, I put a, next to the solution that I will titrate, I put an Erlenmeyer flask with pure water. What I'm looking for is for any color difference between the two. As I have a color difference, it's good for me to add the phosphoric acid. 
So I start with the permanganate, and at the same time, I shrill it. I keep my hand here, and I keep an eye on both solutions. Here we are. Can you see? Let me put it on the white font, on the white paper. Can you see the small difference between these two? This is a little more yellow than this one here. Basically, it takes you roughly 10 milliliters or so. So I'm going to take this one here. Come at the other hood. Let me turn on the light. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the phosphoric acid. I'm going to put it underneath. Ask the students, the flask, not to touch the tip because we do not want to contaminate the tip. So they lift it up. It's not going to go that far. It's 1.5 milliliters, right? And then down. That's all it is. Um, they need to make sure that it says 1.5. If it doesn't, they need to talk to you. Don't ask them to adjust anything by themselves. You're looking for trouble. So, so make sure that you got the last drop and you shrill it. You come back here and you're adding permanganate. It needs to turn pink. Okay. It's not like the last time that we had back titration. Can you see where my finger is? Here. So as soon as I see the pink, I'm going to push back here. Oops. very close to my oh here it is I was very close to the end point and I could tell because it was difficult to get rid of the pinkish color it was getting more persistent and here it is I may have one drop of, drop more of permanganate than I was supposed to however I cannot do back titration let me show you you can see the color here I'm going to put more permanganate can you see this is too much I'm going to put it on the white paper for you to be able to see. So we want the lightest pink that we can get. Uh, hmm. There is a reaction that I have sent you, and you need to make it available to your students in order to be able to do their calculations. Basically, what they need to know is that the ratio between the iron and the permanganate is 1 to 5. Otherwise, they will not be able to do their calculations. Um, I guess that's for the moment. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. Thank you very much.